Right, here's a bit of an idea. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but that's why it's worth filming. Uh, what these are are parts left over from another solar build. I've got a 400 watt solar system in another room. Over here I've got the EcoFlow and that does the usual stuff in the kitchen and uh, runs this kettle and things like that. But the thing is, the solar input to it is one of those. It's an XT60, male end and I thought maybe I can reuse the connection when this is full or not in use. So, here we have a bag of XT60s. I'm going to use one of the female ends of it. I've got a LFP battery, 6 ampere hour, just a small one. It was about $20 on Amazon when they had the sales going on. And I've got this Ecoworthy charge controller, which uh, I got another one of with the 100 watt system that I showed recently on the channel. So this is kind of spare at the moment. Or, you know, backup really, that's all it is. Then over here, what used to be connected to the power station was one of these cigarette car type plugs and a mains capable switch. So the whole point is, can I make some kind of solar little power bank idea from these bits? And finally, although we've got a good 12 volt system there for solar use, I'm going to hook up this 500 watt inverter. And this one is also only a spare now because I've just ordered a 2000 watt version. So maybe I'll also get some use out of the whole thing and run light loads. Also, to add a most important question here, the whole thing should be around about $100. Well, I've just been looking at things and thought, hmm, this controller here will fit on very comfortably onto the battery, and underneath I can put the inverter, and that gives good access to things. Sorry about the lighting, mind you, again. And good access to the USB ports and the mains on the other side. I think I'll go ahead with it this way. And I mean, people always say about shortest wire runs you can do, so that is going to be some short wire runs. There we are, I've glued things together with this E6000 glue. It's kind of rubberized, and uh, but very very strong when it does dry. So, that's what I'll let it do, and then connect up the wires. Right, it's all coming together. I've reused the wires that came from the car adapter, because they've got these uh, good little crimp things that go on. That are with plastic over the tops and I've also now made converted the switch as well so that interrupts the battery so we're not running this all the time right here we are everything's done I'm calling this the power cube I've got the on off switch here which is connected into the one of the lines of the battery we've got the XT60 in the back for solar panels to connect we've got the connections on the top going in which is the solar panel and then the battery and also the inverter has been wired up a little bit differently because I did get an EO4 when I just tried it without everything hooked together an error 4 is a short circuit on these but if I put the red in the output and I put the black in the battery one it seems to work or I'm hopeful that it does work so live I'll try it so power there we are, showing 13.3 on there. And on the side we've got that little display showing 13.2. And I figured that would be useful for when plugging things in on the side here, mains things, you can keep an eye easy enough on the battery voltage and see where it's at when we're running mains loads. Which will be what I'll do next. This is the, uh, the power cube. Alright, first proper real world test. I've got this lamp plugged in, normal mains lamp, so now I'll switch on the inverter and we'll see what happens. And there we go, <laughs> mains power from the power cube. Wow, alrighty, gonna enjoy seeing how long it actually does last, it's only a 6 ampere hour battery, but um, there we are, it's running that lamp. So, with it running this light now, the next thing to test will be the solar input and see what happens there. We'll be plugging it into that one. And just to say it'll be connecting to those two Renergy 100 watt panels outside. So 
So there we are, that's the solar connected up at the back. We've got the light on, mains output going, and on here it's showing 13.4 volts. And we've got 2.6 amps coming in on solar. You can see the solar icon on the bottom left. So there we are, it's charging up and it's running something. The power cube. <laughs> Delighted with it. Okay, let's try another test. We've got the light running, now we've got this power tool, rotary power tool connected. Can it run it at the same time? There we go, successful. And of course there's also USB charging. Got this power bank on charge now. So yes, I am super delighted with this and it's worked out really well. Yeah, good luck if you make your own and thanks very much for watching.